How's it going, Jason here, back with another short bubble tutorial. So this is how you can add a tab to navigation. So if you wanna have uh, tabs across the top and different panels when you click on the tabs, here's a simple way you can do it. I'm gonna use the same app that I've been using for all these tutorials. It's just a very simple artist and song management tool. So right now I just have a simple management tool here where you can pick an artist and then you can assign tracks to them. But now I wanna build part of the user interface where I wanna have a list of songs so you can just see all the songs that are in the database and a tab for showing all of the artists and then an admin tab. So first I'm gonna go into Bubble here. I've got this group that I have set up and I've just named this as generic group content. I'm gonna rename this to tab one and first thing that I need to do is set this to collapse when hidden. I don't want this to appear when the page is loaded, but what I when I want it to appear when tab one is picked. So in order to do that, I'm gonna select the page first. I'm gonna set up a custom state, and let's just call that active tab. You can use numbers, you can use text, it really doesn't matter, but I'm gonna set it to number, and I'm gonna set the default value to Actually, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna make this three instead because I don't want the admin interface to show first. So now what I need to do is go into this tab. I'm gonna rename this to tab three. And then I need to set a condition that when this is set to three, this element is visible. So the next thing that I need to do is to add my other tabs. I'm going to call this one artists and I'm not going to do anything else with this now I'll just leave it as a placeholder but what I will do is I will copy that condition over copy condition artist but I want this to show when the tab that I've selected is tab number two and I'll just put a piece of text in there so we know which tab that we've clicked on. So now I'm gonna duplicate this. And I'm gonna change this to songs. Change this text to song list. And I will update the condition for this one. And I want this to show when the tab is one. And then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna set the default state to one. So this way it's always going to show whichever tab I have the condition set as tab one. So just also make sure you go into the layouts and make sure that it is not visible on load and it's collapsed when it's not visible. So let me update that for all of these. And just to keep your app nice and clean, you can organize it. You could call this tab one, just so it's easier to visually see when you're navigating, especially if your app gets really complicated. Tab three, and this is going to be the admin. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is to actually add the navigation buttons. So I'm gonna add a group here, underneath the header. Let's call this nav tabs. I'm gonna set this to a row and I don't want it to be that tall. Let's just make it 75. I want this to be centered. You can use any element that you want for this. So you can use buttons, you can use text. For now, I'm just gonna choose buttons. So songs and artists and manage. Uh, let's add some spacing here. center these. You can style this however you want. Uh, I'm just going to leave this simple for right now. So now that we've got our three buttons, now what we need to do is to add a workflow to set that custom state when it's clicked on. So add workflow for songs. I'm going to use the set state of an element. I'm going to pick my page, active tab, and set that to one. And I'm going to copy this to make it easier to do the next ones. Artists. And it's tab two, it's gonna set the value to two, and then manage, it is going to set the value 
to 3. So let's preview this. So song list, artist list, manage page. So now you can do some fancier things such as on your actual buttons, if it's the one that is selected, you can add that to the condition here. So when the active tab is one, I can just change the background color of this to, uh, let's just make it a, let's make it green for now, just to make it different. You could also make this element not clickable. So the tabs selected, they don't have to uh, uh, really need to click on it again. So you can disable the click if you want, but you don't really have to. And we'll do the same for tab two here and do the same for tab three. Now let's preview it. So it shows songs are selected, artists and then manage groups, and that's it. That's a very simple way that you can have a tabbed navigation display for your Rubble app. Remember to like and subscribe and get notified when these tutorials come out. Thanks for watching.